Mineiro. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Fine. Nice. You. Fine. What was your day yesterday? Yes. Yes. How excellent. was your day? Oh, excellent. excellent. Did you celebrate Mother's Day? Excellent. Excellent. My mother. My mother, you, your, your, your mother was happy. Yes, she was happy. That's nice. She, nice to hear that. Nice, nice, nice. You stay? Yeah, I had a very good day. Uh, during the day, I worked, but um, yeah. it was an um, very um. It was not really busy, and at night I visited my sister, and we had dinner together at home. So it was um, very good, and also my sons gave me uh, some um, uh, a very beautiful balloon with lights inside and flowers and a couple of gifts. So it was it was amazing. So I had a good day. Thank you for asking. Uh, Francisco, how are you doing? How do you feel? Hi, teacher. I am fine. Um, I am super happy to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> so you're class. back in your class. It's nice. Do you feel good? Are you okay? Yes, I am feel good. Nice. Very good. <laughs> it's nice to hear that. Thanks and for asking. Tell me, how was your day yesterday? Did you have a good day, tell me? Yes, I have a good day with my mother, my sisters, and my son. Awesome. Fantastic. Did you son uh, made a card for you? Le hizo su tarjetita a su hijo. Uh, yes. <laughs> one, una taza me dio. One cup. A cup. Nice. Uh, How cute. Nice to hear that. And the rest of Good you? evening. Good evening, Carlos. What did you do yesterday? Good How was your day? Carlos. Well, I took my family 
to a trip to uh, La Palma in San Ignacio. Por ahí y a comer un poquito. <laughs> Oh, awesome. <laughs> so La Palma is a, um, I heard that it's very cold. The weather is uh, not. No, no, no. No, what's not, not now. cold? No. It's hot now. Uh, see, see. Yeah. Now it's very hot. The only pool, cold place is in, in San Ignacio, outside oh. in, 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 in Miramundo. Oh yeah, yeah. That's it. There is very cold there. there is the weather is cool. really nice. The Palma is too hot now. Ah, oh, I see. But yes. you, what did you eat? You you want to eat? You say. What did well, you eat? Well, we eat chicharrones and pupusas. Pork. Oh my God! Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, on the way oh, to La Palma, we buy some chicharrones. Uh, eh, cheese eh, majado Don Carlos, tortillas con coffee, con coffee, y allá ya más con arriba ya en la noche porque ya nos venimos como a las siete y media de allá arriba desde de Miramundo vaya pues unas pupusitas con chocolatito oh, sounds like a nice trip sí mm. sí sí fue divertido sobre todo ya en la noche pues, eh, disfrutamos la bajada sobre todo que es un lugar de así bien pronunciada la bajada y ahí veníamos pues bajando todos los santos pero <laughs> <laughs> al final dando gracias a Dios que llegamos con bien. Awesome, fantastic. Yeah, there's been a lot of car accidents lately so yeah, thanks God yeah. that, you, that you did a, um, that you went okay to your house and you had a yeah. very nice trip. Yeah, thanks God. Yeah, and the rest of you, what did you do? How was your holiday yesterday? Huh? Maria, how was your holiday? What did you do? Well, uh, we spent time with my mom in here in house and we make uh, lasagna for lunch and uh, we take a little break with coffee and ice cream cake. Ice cream cake, delicious. Yes. And we give her uh, just a, a little present. Um, how do I say? A uh, clock with uh, for a uh, for color color clock. Oh, that sounds interesting. Nice that you had a good day yesterday. Yes. Okay. teacher. Good evening. How are you today? What's good, teacher? Could be better, but it was good. Oh, what about yesterday? Did you have a good day? Yeah, it's kind of, uh, uh, I have, I did a lot of things with my sister because uh, we have to bow the, the gift of my mother and my grandmother. So <laughs> we spent the all day running in all the uh, tiendas. How do you say tiendas? I forget. Shops? Shops, all the shops, yeah. And then in the in the night, I cooked for for hers, 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 yeah. hair. For, and for, her. for her, yeah, it's two. My mother and my grandmother. Ah, so you cook for them? Them, yes. Okay, what do you cook? A, uh, tacos. Tacos, chicken tacos, yeah. beef tacos, what kind of tacos? Uh, uh, beef El pastor? <laughs> ah, no llegas ahí. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't cook <laughs> something like that. It's kind of difficult for me. Yeah, I know, yeah. But yes. Yeah, but yesterday I was the mom because I cook. Yeah, that you, you should. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Yesterday was a good day. Eh, eh, yeah, I have a day off, so I try to make all the things. Yeah, fortunately, I, I you can... had time to do the shopping, last minute shopping, shopping. right? Yeah, the las cosas olvidadas. Oh, you forgot to do it during the week. Okay, but fortunately, yeah. you did it at the end. 
So that was nice. All right, so I'm glad to hear that you had a very beautiful day yesterday. And your family celebrating today? I, I just like uh, at night because I had to work and um, no. I, I'm living at six. They changed my schedule. Um, for six months, I'm going to be working from um, 8.40 to 6 p.m. So yeah, it's, um, when I finished my shift, I went to have dinner with my sister and we shared um, also a cake and coffee. And um, my family gave me some beautiful presents and a balloon with lights that I, I really enjoy it. It was so beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yes, I didn't have it because I didn't have it. I can't find it. It's just I came out now, so I had to leave now, and the traffic was horrible, horrible. I thought I wouldn't come in time for the class. But here I am. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. I have 16, well, I'm going to check attendance and then we're going to start practicing uh, pronunciation, vocabulary, and then we're going to go and study for today's topic. So remember to turn on your cameras and say present as you hear your names. Um, let's see. I'm almost sorry. How are you doing with the platform? You finish it? Not yet? Remember to be working on the platform. So let's check here. At Andrea Laurena? Present. Thank you, Andrea. Belen. Carlos Mario. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen Rene. Present teacher. Thank you. Tell me Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Francisco Nemias. Present. Thank you. Helen Dionelli. Helen Dionelli. I'm here, teacher. Oh, thank you. Uh, it is Joanna. It is Joanna. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Thank you. Um, Juan Ricardo. Present teacher. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present teacher. Kenia Cecilia. Present teacher. Thank you. Marisela del Carmen. Marisela del Carmen. Moises Alberto. Oh, okay, okay, good. Thank you for letting us know. Noemi Albertina. Noemi. Rafael Antonio Barrientos. Thank you. Reina Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you. Rubén de Jesús Campos. Stephanie Guadalupe Contreras. Judy Araceli. Here teacher. Thank you. José Rudy. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Mercedes Amaya. Ana Mercedes Amaya. María Angélica Godínez. Present. Thank you. Imelda Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Susana Esmeralda. Okay, um, let's see. For today, we're going to, well, I already 
share the material, but I think I didn't share the screen. Let me check here. Me was que describí tu ahí que tiene problema. Then me. Ah, okay, thank you. I will check. Voy a chequear otra vez asistencia en un momento para. Pero si sí está conectada Delmi. Noemi. Ah, Noemi. Ok. Y Berlín. Ok. All right. Oh, ok, I'm sharing my screen. Can you see it? Can you see my yes. screen? Ok. Um, yes. Well, today uh, we're going to start with a couple of tongue twisters to um, help with pronunciation. And the idea is to exactly that, to practice pronunciation and get fluent. Try to repeat it uh, as fast as you can. And uh, let's repeat this one. Well, basically they are three, just three. I include three tongue twisters for you to practice. We're going to repeat it. Um, first one is this one. But lo vamos a hacer con los micrófonos en, en, este, en silencio para evitar eh, mucho ruido. So, vamos a mutear y vamos a repetir en casa. Pueden repetir en casa aunque estén en mute. So, los voy a decir un par de veces y si es necesario anoten cómo escuchan que suenan las palabras para que lo puedan repetir después en grupo hasta que lo hagan lo más rápido que puedan. Remember that English is practice. Don't say, oh, I did it twice and I'm get bored enough this because I did it twice and I'm tired. No, do it as many times as you can. Remember that is the, this is the chance that you have to practice your speaking. And this is something that you cannot do with the platform itself. So. Let's repeat this one. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. One more time. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Y así lo van a ir diciendo más rápido. Let's repeat it one more time. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Let's move to the next one. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. <laughs> Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. Sorry, teacher, what does it mean, a noise? A noise is algo que le, le molesta, disgusta, mm -hmm. uh, hostiga. Mm -hmm. mm, thanks. Mm -hmm. Now let's see the third one. I feel, I feel, a funny feel, a funny feel I feel. If you feel the feel I feel, a funny feel you feel. One more time, I feel, I feel, a funny feel, a funny feel I feel. If you feel the feel I feel, 
a funny feel you feel. Okay. So we have this in the presentation. A funny, a, a funny you feel. So we are going to practice this in groups. So you can take turns. Uh, you can take turns to repeat them and try to do it as fast as you can. Uh, remember that I already sent the presentation to your WhatsApp. So you have them there and try to help your classmates with pronunciation as well. Okay. Este en grupo para que ustedes se acuerden. Tal vez uno se acuerda cómo era la pronunciación de una palabra que alguien no se acuerda. So the idea of making it in group is that you help each other and practice as much as you can. Right. So let me create the breakup rooms for you to practice. Okay, there we go. Hmm. One by one, this one. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red down, black bread, is pretty thick and say it and say it quit. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spray it thick, say it quick. Order. Me. Okay. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spray it thick, say it quick. Helen, can you? Hello, brother. Okay. Jelly. Are you young? Black brains. Spring in thick. Size and quit. Okay, yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bear, spread it thick, say it quick. Uh -huh. Try to repeat it at least. Yellow three butter, times. purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. 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 Yellow butter, purple jelly, Red young, black bread, spread is cheap, stay and quit. Remember this one is spread. Así como, así como se lee ahí, spread. Spread it spread. thick. Spread it thick. Spread it thick, say it quick. Spread it thick, say it quick. Okay. Okay. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick. Say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red down, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Ahí van mejorando muy bien, Delmi. Thank you, teacher. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red down, 
that breath is pretty sick, say and quick. Good, Helen. Good. Very good. Thank you. Any noise, any noise and noise on oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise and oyster more. Any noise and noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise and noise, an oyster more. Any noise, a noise, a oyster, but a noise, noisy, a noise, an oyster more. Any noise and noise and noise there, but a noisy noise and noise and noise there more. Any noise and noise. Eso pasa a veces cuando uno maneja mucho. Bueno, sí, es cierto. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, pero qué bueno que ya estés mejor, Francisco. Sí, sí muchas gracias. Sabes. Okay. Gracias a Dios, hombre, qué bueno, nos alegra. Si gustan, compártela. Ok. okay. <coughs> Ahí está. Este. <coughs> y este, y este. Uh -huh. Bueno. ¿Quién quiere empezar? ¿Quieres empezar, Imelda? Dale. Dale. <risa> Ah, vamos a empezar así despacito. Empiezo yo por ser el nuevo. Vaya, <risa> vaya, vaya, empiezo. Today is Tongue Twister. Yellow Butter. Purple Jelly. Red Jam. Black Bread. Spray Tick. Say it Quick. Ok. Faster, yo digo que deberían de ponerlo por lo menos unas tres veces cada uno y después el mismo, teacher. el mismo, ajá. Ah, ok. Y Perfect. tratar de decirlo más rápido cada vez. Igual si escuchan que el compañero o compañera eh, le vaya con la pronunciación, ayudarle, ¿verdad? Corregir. Sí, ajá. Ok. okay. Thank you. Oh, pues, más rápido, Francisco. Ok. <risa> <risa> Yellow butter, butter, purple butter. butter, yellow butter, purple jelly, purple, purple jam, it's purple, black it's purple, purple. Uh -huh. it's pretty thick. Say it quick. Say it quick. Okay, muy bien. A través. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black purple. red. Say it thick. Okay. Very quick. Yellow butter, yellow butter, <laughs> yellow yellow butter, purple jelly. Red jam, black bread, it's pretty thick, say it quick. Ya ve, ya lo dijo un poquito más rápido. <laughs> ya no se le lengua la traba ya mucho. Ya no mucho. <laughs> This is practice. <laughs> ok. Y me da, dale tú. Uh -huh. Ok. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, it's pretty thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, black bread, spread it, spread it thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Excellent. Go, Carmen. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Yellow butter. Purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black 
spread. It's spreading. No, it's a, say it's quick. Link. It's a link. Maricela está por acá también. Sí, gracias, gracias, gracias. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, sweet cakes. Say the quick. Say quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, sweet cakes. Say quick. Um, yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, stick stick, say quick. Any noise? A noise? A noise, but a noise, noise, a noise, a noise, more. Any noise, a noise, a noise, but but a noise, noise, a noise, an oyster more. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noise, noise, a noise, an oyster more. <laughs> Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. Carmen? Yo pensé que ibas tú, Carla. <laughs> Any noise, a noise, a noise, but a noise, noise, a noise, a noise, more. Any noise, a noise, a noise, but a noise, noise, a noise, a noise, more. Any noise, a noise, a noise, but a noise, noise, a noise, a noise, more. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. Maricela. Sorry, sorry. Now, a noise, any noise, a noise, and an oyster bat, a noise, a noise, a noise, and an oyster more. Yeah. A noise, any noise, a noise, and oyster bat, a noise, noise, no, a noise, and oyster, oyster more. Se me traba la lengua. <risa> Para eso son los ejercicios, no se preocupe. <risa> Poquito a poco se nos va a ir destrabando. Okay. Any noise, a noise, en Oster Bata, noise, a noise, a noise, en Oster More. I feel a feel a funny feel a funny feel I feel if you feel the feel I feel I funny feel you feel I feel a feel a funny feel a funny feel I feel if you feel it if feel the feel I feel a funny feel you feel I feel a feel a funny feel a funny feel I feel, if you feel, the feel I feel, I funny feel you feel. I feel, I feel, a funny feel, 
A funny feel I feel. If you feel the feel I feel, a funny feel you feel. I feel a feel, a funny feel. A funny feel as I feel. If you feel the feel, I feel a funny feel you feel. I feel a feel, a funny feel. A funny feel I feel. If you feel the feel I feel, a funny feel you feel. I feel a feel, a funny feel, a funny feel I feel. If you feel the feel I feel, a funny feel you feel. I feel a feel, a funny feel, a funny feel I feel. If you feel the feel I feel, a funny feel you feel. I feel a feel, a funny feel, a funny feel I feel. Pardon. If you feel the feel I feel, a funny feel you feel. I feel a feel a funny feel, a funny feel I feel. If you feel the feel I feel, a funny feel you feel. I feel I feel a funny feel, a funny feel I feel. If you feel the feel I feel, a funny feel you feel. I feel a feel a funny feel, a funny feel I feel. If you feel a funny feel, if you feel the feel I feel, a funny feel you feel. Okay, I feel a fear, a funny fear. I funny feel, I fear. If you feel the fear, I fear. I funny feel, you fear. I fear, I fear, I funny fear. I funny feel, I fear. If you feel the fear, I fear. I funny feel, you fear. I fear, I feel, I funny fear. I funny feel, I feel. If you feel the fear, I feel. I funny feel you feel. Este no me costó mucho. El más facilito, creo yo. Y eso era todo, ¿verdad? Sí, esos tres. Y seguir practicando, dijo, hasta Ajá. que nos saquen de la clase. <risa> Empezamos de nuevo. Empecemos de nuevo si quieren y tratemos de decirlo más rápido. Oh, you Eso. can select the one that you feel it was the most difficult. Okay. Yo el primero sentí más difícil. Y te el video escucho bastante cortado. <laughs> Yo escucho bien. Yo igual, quizá. Ajá, quizá su internet quizá es. Tiene algún problema con la señal, alguna tormenta en el camino. Creo que se le cortó. Si gusta, practique Escucho usted. cortado, compañeros. Creo que mi, mi internet está malo. Sí, creo que le está dando problema a usted, Francisco. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, Pero porque nosotros no, sí nos escuchamos no bien. Solo usted 50 le haya cortado. <risa> 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 Solo son mentiras estas de las compañías. <risa> sí. Y, Pero si quieres, trata eh, de leerlo, Francisco. Okay. Oh. Me saco. No lo ves, Francisco. Ya no está. Sí está. Me sacó del grupo <ríe> Zoom. Pero aquí te miramos. Bueno, si quieren, mientras Francisco resuelve, eh, dale, Imelda. Ok. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spirit thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spirit thick, say it quick. <ríe> Okay, yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, pretty thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, pretty thick, say it quick. Okay. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, pretty thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, pretty thick, 
say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say the quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say quick. Francisco, estarás por ahí. Hola. Sí, ahorita. Ok. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Empiezo. Vale. Any noise, a noise, an oyster bar up, bar, but a noise, noise and noise, an oyster more. Any noise, a noise, an oyster bar, bar up, but, ¿cómo se dice ahí? Ya no me acuerdo. But, but, uh, ¿dónde estamos? But. Ajá, el bot a se une. But a noisy, but a noisy noise. Ajá, but, tiene but, que uh, okay. but a noisy noise. But a noisy noise, a noise, a noise. But a noise, but a noise, a noise. Any noise, a noise, a noise. But a noise, but a noise, noise, a noise, an oyster more. Any noise, a noise, an oyster but up noise, but a noise, a noise, an oyster more. <laughs> okay. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. Any noise and noise and noise, noise there, but a noise and but a noise noise and noise and noise there more. Any noise and noise and noise there, but a noise and noise and noise and noise there more. Any noise and noise and noise, noise there, but a noise, noise and noise and noise there more. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. Any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noise, a noise, a noise, a noise, an oyster more. A no any noise and noise and oyster but noise and noise and noise and oyster more. Ahí. Ahí me confundo noise and noise and noise. Así sería. En la tercera. Noisy, noise and noise. Noisy, noise and noise. Noisy, noise and noise. Ok. Any noise and noise and oyster but noise. Noisy noise a noise and other more. Okay. I feel a feel a funny feel. I funny feel I feel. If you feel the feel I feel, a funny feel you feel. I feel a feel a funny feel. I funny feel I feel. If you feel the feel, I feel a funny feel you feel. I feel a feel a funny feel. A funny feel I feel. If you feel the feel I feel. I feel you feel. I feel a funny feel. A funny feel I feel. If you feel the feel I feel, a funny feel you feel. 
I feel a feel a funny feel a funny feel I feel if you feel the feel I feel a funny feel you feel. Dale Carlos. I feel a feel a funny feel a funny feel I feel if you feel the the feel I feel a funny feel you feel. I feel a feel a funny feel a funny feel I feel and you feel the feel I feel. A funny field you feel. Terminamos. Finish. See you next room. I think. I heard some of you practicing. How was it? Let's see. How good are you with this one? Let's see, volunteers to um, say the first one, you can raise your hand so you can say it. I have a first, Carlos Mario. Okay, Carlos, go ahead. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Okay, good pronunciation, Carlos. Thank you so much. Judy? Thanks, teacher. Okay, yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Okay, very good. <laughs> nice, nice job, Arizeli. Thank you so much, Moises. Yellow butter, purple jelly, red jam, black bread, spread it thick, say it quick. Okay, black bread. Good job. Thank you so much, Carlos. Uh, let's see. Uh, Okay, let's go with the next one. Okay, volunteers for this one. A noise, a noise, and oyster bath, a noise, noise, a noise, and oyster more. Okay, very good, Juan Ricardo. Very good. Vamos a seguir practicando para hacerlo rápido, pero la pronunciación muy bien, Juan. Good job. Thank you so much, Judy. Okay, any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. Okay, pretty good, pretty good job. Okay, let's listen to Judy. Andrea, I have Andrea. Okay, any noise, a noise, an oyster, but a noisy noise, a noise, an oyster more. Awesome! <laughs> Excellent. Nice job, Andrea. Thank you so much. Another volunteer for this one? Okay, so let's move to the last one. Volunteers? Rafael? Okay, we have Rafael, Delmi, and then Judy Araceli. Let's start with Rafael. I feel a feel a funny feel, a funny feel I feel. If you feel the feel I feel, a funny feel you feel. Awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much, Rafael, Delmi. Thank you. I feel a feel a funny feel a funny feel I feel if you feel the feel I feel a funny feel you feel. <laughs> Terrific, very good, excellent job, tell me. Judy. Okay, I feel I feel a funny feel a funny feel I feel if you feel the feel I feel a funny feel you feel. Awesome. Terrific. <laughs> nice job. Thank you so much, Judy. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. I feel Wow, you were the fast and the furious. <laughs> yes, was very good job. Thank you so much, Juan. Okay, nice. Um, yes, Naomi, we checked attendance. Y sí, la vi que estaba por ahí con problemitas, Naomi, así es que sí la puse, okay? Okay, uh, let's move here. Uh, just to start up, we have a discussion here. Uh, we're going to watch this video. You have the link here. We're going to discuss what was the problem with Cage. Is the only one with attitude issues? You know, issues, right? Yeah, so I was going to say issues. Problemas. Ajá, problemas, ajá, or dificultades. Yeah, problemas, dificultades, that's issues. Um, 
And what is the procedure in the company regarding to employees with any kind of attitude issues? So we're going to watch the video first. You can watch it as many times as you need. That's okay. And then in groups, you're going to discuss these questions and you're going to share your work with the class. First question, what was the problem with Cage? Ese es el nombre propio de uno de los que salen en el video. Is he the only person with attitude issues? And the last one, what is the procedure in your company regarding to employees with any kind of attitude issues? Okay, so let me stop sharing. So I'm going to recreate the breakout rooms so you can practice with different people. One more and third room. Okay, let's work in groups.
myself in the head with the saw.
Did you finish your presentation? Finish. Presentation. Uh, okay. No, teacher, we couldn't finish. No, teacher. No, teacher. No. No. Nos faltó un pedacito. You think that five minutes is enough to finish? Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's rejoin.
Welcome back. So let's check room number one. There was Carlos Mario, Delmi, Imelda, and Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Uh, hello, teacher. We couldn't answer the question because we have a, a confusing idea about the video because we think that Gage is not a person, but I don't know if that is true. And yes, I... Yes, they say that Cage Match. It's Cage Match. Cage Match is like, like a, a method. And uh, well, that's what we understand. Because nobody... Not a name. Uh, 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 yes, nobody named Cage. We identified well, the, the the people and we identify Jim, right? And the boss, but I think he's not Cage. And what do you have about his attitude? About Jim's attitude? Ah, uh, he is a noisy, a noise, noisy person. Uh-huh. He, uh, all the co-workers have complained about him. Or <laughs> maybe <laughs> we don't identify correctly. <laughs> okay, no worries. What about room number two? Andrea, Mercedes, Rafael, and Judy? Vaya okay. Uh, what's what was the problem with Cage? His attitude is negative. Continuamos. Sigan los compañeros. Okay. Is he the only one with attitude issues? Issues? No, be, no, because he creates a tense work environment. Okay. What is the procedures in your company regarding to employees with any kind of attitude issues? First, a verbal wake up call and second, and if it doesn't improve, you advance with the rules. First, a verbal white cake call. Okay. Yes, he, he was promoting like a, a very, very stressful work environment, not very healthy, right? So, yes, thank you so much for sharing. You did a very good job with this. So let's go to the room number three where Helen Denelli, Juan Ricardo Alvarenca, Maria Angelica, and Noemi Vasquez. Okay, thank you. I share my, my screen. Good, thank you. Okay. The discussion about case. The, the problem was uh, the employee has problems with the part the pranks that his partner plays on him every day. Um, Maria Angelica. Is he the only one with the attitude, attitude, attitude issues? No, these attitudes is are common and work. <laughs> y Juan Ricardo Alparenga. The procedures and on our company regarding to employees without any kind of attitude issues. No, I'm first of all, a verbal warning is given first. Well, first of all, a verbal warning is given. And then if it is happened again, um, they file 
I've brought in warning. And the third one step is to get fired the employee. Okay, termination of the contract is the last one. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for your participation. Nice job, excellent. Thank you. Now let's thank see, you. room thank number you. four. Guys. Francisco, Nemias, Marisela, and Moises. Okay, teacher, uh, we did or understand in the video. <laughs> there, there. Question, what was the problem with case? I think the problem with case is, is that, uh, is that when, when he, when he, when he realized, when he realized, when he realized, he realized, uh, that your carnet is he is okay when when he realizes that his badge is carnet okay realize okay uh, your carnet is his badge Batch, batch. Mm -hmm. Ahí se los escribí en el chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. When he realized that his badge is not your name. Eh, his name? His name? His, his name, sorry. Uh-huh. His name is, is the other people, other person. And then he... No, angry. Yeah, he gets angry. Get angry for that. Uh, this the third question. Uh, the second question is your acted uh, his attitude is issue is is hungry for for the case your name uh, only that we understand teacher okay thank you so much for your participation thank you and then room number five it was carmen rene jose arnoldo jose rudy kenya and margarita martinez Okay, compañeros, ¿tienen el, el Word o no? Yes. Teacher, uh, number one, what's the problem with Cash? He is hungry about an error in the chair on his identification and the middle name. Middle name. Okay, otro compañero. Is he the only? One wise attitude uses is yes, there is all the co, co worker have a calm attitude is only the uh, negative attitude, teacher. 
Ah, okay. He's the only one with negative attitude. Y por último, what is the procedure in your company regarding to employees with uh, any kind of attitude issues? Uh, the first is talk with the talk. co-worker, talk with the co-worker with issues. Um, if it doesn't work, um, maybe change change the schedule or change the desk, the workplace. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for participating. Yes, I, I remember I work in a place when uh, uh, where when someone had attitude issues, they change it from uh, desk place and or yeah, it was like being in a school again. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your participation. So... Sure. Uh, perdón, solo porque queremos entender bien. <laughs> eh, es que nosotros cuando vimos el video no respondimos las preguntas porque entendimos que Cage no era una persona porque nadie se llama así. Entonces, por eso es que entramos en confusión, en discusión sobre a qué iba la pregunta. ¿Qué piensas? ¿Cómo? Yeah, that was the problem for us. We've been talking about the name and, and we can find the problem, but, but we don't get uh, ahead because we've been trying to identify when cash, that happens, cash, and then cash doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. When that uh -huh. happened, because the rest of the group did it. Los demás del grupo, los demás grupos sí lo hicieron y eh, yeah. los mencioné al principio the, antes the de la actividad, les mencioné que era un nombre propio y este igual cuando eso pase le pueden eh, poner subtítulos en inglés. No, teacher, eh, no sé si puede poner el video. Es que ningún personaje se llama Cage, por eso le decía. No lo puedo poner porque también Ajá. ya les he mencionado las razones por las que no los pongo. Ya, yeah, okay. ¿Verdad? Bien. También ya no, se pero... les he mencionado. Uh -huh. Y este... Igual pueden llamar en los, eh, siempre pueden poner un texto y yo puedo llegar al grupo a asistirlos. Okay. Yeah. Sí, porque lo que pasa es que el personaje que es molesto se llama Jim, no se llama Cage. Oh, ok, bueno, los demás grupos creo que sí comprendieron y, y lo, lo desarrollaron a, y lo hubieran hecho con el nombre de Jim. ¿Podría sí, ser? eso fue lo que ajá, no eso, hicimos. Ajá, es que Nos detuvimos que a querer entender. entender. Quién era Keshi a buscarlo y ya no avanzamos, pero sí el problema lo logramos distinguir. Ah, ok, perfecto. Solo que no lo escribí. <risa> Estar discutiendo. Es que lo hubieran hecho con el nombre de Jim, pero yeah. that's ok. All right. So let's continue. Let's move. Well, in the next slide, we have this and we're going to be talking about procedures. You've been talking about how do you proceed in your company in regards of procedures with um, maybe with uh, when someone has attitude issues in the company. Someone mentioned that in, in his company, first, a verbal warning is given if the if the problem persists, a second written warning is given. The first one is verbal and the second one is written. And if the person does it again, it's, it becomes like a, a contract termination, right? So this is first, second, and finally. Right? First, verbal warning, second, written warning, and finally, uh, the termination of the contract. So. That is the idea of the previous activities that you mentioned. What steps does uh, your company follows the procedures with problematic employees? And that was the focus of the activity since uh, for this conversation, we are going to be discussing about procedures. So as you see, we have three here. It's Javier, then the manager, Manager and Javier, so it's two people, right? 
So Javier says, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. And then the manager says, all right, first, give, you give options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register. Or you slide the card through the card reader, then the register points the receipts and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. And Javier said, thank you, Mr. Moore. It's a very basic and simple procedure. Uh, do we have volunteers to role play this conversation? Raise your hands. Carlos Mario and Moises Alberto. Okay, let's start with you guys. Thank you so much. You Sir. decide who start. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right, Sir, you give the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the radio or you slide the car from the car reader. 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 Then, reader. Then the re register print the receipt and you give give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sings the receipt and you keep a copy. Oh, thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, nice job. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's repeat this word. That was some kind of difficult word. Register. Register, register, and this one is through, through. I need you right. Uh -huh. Through. Okay, thank you so much, Carlos and Moises. Do we have another two volunteers? Yo. Okay, Maria Angelica. Hey, ¿Quién más levantó la manita? Maria Angelica and... Juan Ricardo, mini demo. Juan Ricardo, you can start. Ella que empiece, yo soy el segundo. La nova. <laughs> okay, Juan. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. Repita, Juan, please. Uh so i found how structure a payment all I right will... all right first you give the option to the pay in cash or credit card after that take a payment and put it in the register on your slide the car through the car reader then the register print the race Re receipt 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 and you give it back to the customer finally the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy thank you Moore. mr moore mr moore excellent thank you so much for your participation let's listen other two participants thank you so much let's see judy and Tengo a Judy y a Noemi. Thank you so much. Okay. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, uh, you get the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or your slide, the car through the car reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sign, signs the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Morse. Judy. 
<risa> Judy. O oh, un aquí, permita. No worries. ¿Cuál le quiere ayudar? Juan Ricardo. Thank you, Maru. Mister. Mister. Mister Moore. Mister Mr. Moore. Moore. Excellent. Mr. Thank you so much, Juan Ricardo. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation. So basically here what we have to practice is um, this sequence word. Este se llama sequence word. Estas nos ayudan como a dar una secuencia cuando estamos describiendo pasos, ya sea para hacer una receta de un eh, huevo picado, decir first you buy the eggs. After that, you uh, broke the into a frying pan. Then you have to um, scramble the eggs and finally you serve it into a dish. And good privilege. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, so. I'm sorry, teacher. Se me trabó todo el teléfono. <laughs> no te preocupe, gracias, Judy. Entonces, esta es la idea básicamente de estar hablando sobre procesos y estas son sequence words. So, yo creo que se utilizan mucho para hablar sobre procedimientos, ya sea de, de dar una receta simple, a enseñarle a alguien cómo encender la computadora, procesos o procedimientos en general. Moisés, dígame. Can you spell sequence? Explicar la secuencia. Uh, spell. Sequence. Uh -huh. Yes. The word. Yes. Okay. Let's let me spread it out here. Yeah. It is in the chat. S E Q U E N C E. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other question? So, is there first? Sequential. Sequential. Uh, uh -huh, Juan. Er, payment. Se oh. pronuncia payment. 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 Uh -huh. payment. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, the, siempre que in, iniciamos con una explicación a darle el paso a paso, de algún procedimiento, la, siempre iniciamos con first. O para decir, primero haz esto. After that, después de eso. Then, es luego. Y luego, tenemos finally. Right? So, that's quite simple, the topic for today. So, before we continue, I'm going to check attendance again. So, please turn on your cameras and say present as soon as you hear your names. Let's just start with Andrea Laurena. Here, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Belen Batres. Belen se desconectó, creo que tuvo problemas. Carlos Mario Avedaño. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carmen René. Present, teacher. Thank you. Delmi Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Francisco Nehemias. Present. Thank you so much. Helen Dionelli. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, let's see. It is Joanna. It is Joanna. Se conectó Iris. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Thank you. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Ricardo Menedero. Present teacher. Thank you, Kenya Cecilia Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Moises Alberto Rodriguez. Here, teacher. Thank you so much, Naomi Albertina. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Reina, um, Reina Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you. Rubén de Jesús Campos. Rubén de Jesús Campos. Stephanie Guadalupe Contreras. 
Uh, Judy Araceli. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jose Rudy Acevedo. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Ana Mercedes Amaya. Present. Thank you so much. Maria Angelica Godinez. Present. Okay, thank you. Imelda Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. And Susana Esmeralda. I'm sorry, teacher, I don't know. Listen, my name. Maricela, I think I mentioned you. Let me see, Maricela. Sí, aquí la noté, Maricela. So, I make it a present. Thank you so much. It is... Uh, it is... Levantó la manita, pero no escuché. Pero creo que sí, a Iris no la anoté porque no escuché decir present. Ahorita la anoto, Iris, gracias. Ok. Let's continue then. All right, now that we practice this conversation, we need to answer the following questions. What steps does manager Moore give to Javier to process a payment? Do you remember the steps? There were a lot, right? So, yes. uh -huh. so what this we have to do is basically to read again <laughs> and write here the steps to process a payment. So first, yes. you give the you options give the option to pay in car. To pay in car. With credit card. With credit card. After that, After that, take the payment and put it in the register or use like the card through the card reader. Then the registered points receipts and you give it back to the customer. And finally, the customer signs the receipt and you keep a copy. So this is basically what we need to read here, All right? Sorry. And what words does the manager more used to order the sequence of events? Do you remember? Yes. First. First. After, after that. After, after that. that. Then, okay. then, finally, finally, finally. excellent. <laughs> okay, now um, we have another video activity here. Here is the link, and uh, I okay, we're going to watch the video and answer what is what are the steps the interviewed mentioned that he would follow in order to deal with a difficult customer. What other step would you suggest? Okay. So, en la, en la entrevista no vamos a escuchar, primero haría esto, luego haría esto, sino que no van a escuchar las sequence words. Ustedes solo es como un ejercicio de listening y recuerden que si sienten que está muy difícil eh, la pronunciación, tenemos que what, primero tratar, what, ¿verdad? Y si no... Are... And you text. Ok, Juan. Eh, so, ahí hay una opción para ponerle subtítulos. Si necesitan subtítulos, lo ideal es de que lo pongan en inglés, ¿verdad? Para que practiquen, pues, lo que debemos de aprender, que es inglés. So, there is the option there. So, you're going to listen and uh, maybe write the steps using the sequence word. The first thing he do to deal with a difficult customer is this. After that, he mentioned, después él mencionó esto, y finalmente lo que haría sería esto. Are we clear with the instructions? Question. Uh, Juan, uh -huh. uh, why is that baby uh, hardware? ¿Cómo dónde está el video? Ajá, o sea, vamos a ver el video o, o se va a repasar lo que está en la conversión. No, van a ver el video para que practiquen listening. Van a ver el video que está aquí, está el link, el enlace. 
Ok, hay una persona a la que están entrevistando y él dice qué paso seguiría para lidiar con un customer que es difícil. Entonces ustedes van a escuchar esos pasos y los van a, a escribir usando las palabras que acabamos de ver. Primero él hace esto y esto y esto. Luego menciona que haría esto y esto y finalmente esto y esto y esto. Y qué otros pasos ustedes sugieren para lidiar con un cliente difícil. Tal vez algunos de los que estamos acá tratamos con clientes. ¿Qué hacen ustedes cuando un cliente está difícil? Primero, sí. segundo y finalmente. ¿Ok? Parece que sí, ¿verdad, Juan? Ok. Sí, Les... cuando, llegan, cuando llegan allá, hay difíciles, dicen. Se molestan cuando no atienden. Ok. Vamos a hacer nada más tres rooms por cuestión de tiempo. Así entre más hay, más rápido vamos a trabajar, ¿verdad? Ok, let's join the rooms. Escuchan todos. Um, can you, sí. uh, vi que pidieron ayuda, solo le puedo pedir que dejen de compartir pantalla. Ahorita. Ok. Ok. Uh, uh, sí. Uh, no le escucho, Carlos, tiene deshabilitado su micrófono. Perdón, estábamos solicitando el link para el video, pero parece que el compañero lo tenía ahí. Ah, ok, perfecto. Nada no más voy a eso. salir Gracias. entonces. Es que Gracias. es por pues, material de tercero, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos prohibido um, proyectar nosotros. Por eso no me ah. uno a los rooms. Ajá. Ok, me okay. salgo y lo dejo trabajar. Perfecto, gracias. Bye.
Hello. Uh, Mario. Mario. Or the working is. I wish to have more time, Juan. I'll take work today. And we can just can this project. Oh, you couldn't finish the project. Project are part of five. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, I understand. It was not enough time. <laughs> sí, unfortunately, ya se nos terminó el tiempo. Eh, so, no sé, tal vez mañana, si recuerdan con quienes estaban en el grupo, tendría que hacer los manual para irlos uniendo uno a uno. Y si no, pues nos va a tocar. Yo sé que por trabajo tal vez no lo puedan terminar mañana ustedes durante el día. Eh, so, vamos a tratar de terminarlo mañana y pues este, eso sería, no sé si cómo sintieron ese video. Recuerden que esto, bueno, para hacer un recap, um, okay. no puedo proyectar, ya me metí una vez en problemas por estar proyectando un link que estaba en el mismo manual de Insafor, vea. El problema es que los videos se suben a YouTube. Entonces ahí salen con los derechos de autor y no sé qué y no sé qué. Entonces por eso es que no, no los puedo proyectar yo. Pero si ustedes sienten que son muy difíciles, yo puedo buscar algo como que más adaptado a ustedes, ¿verdad? Entonces, y siéntanse libres de decírmelo, ya sea por chat, en el grupo, individual, como sea. Y la idea es ayudarle, ¿verdad? No que si sienten que son muy difíciles, pues me lo pueden hacer saber también. Yo creo que no hay problema, teacher, si está bueno ese, porque así se aprende un poco, se le queda uno, pero ahí va desarrollando que rápido tiene que leer el inglés. Sí, la idea es eso y por eso es importante que, que, que hagamos ese tipo de ejercicios y les agradezco a ustedes también la sugerencia porque de hecho me dijeron que el teacher anterior, Francisco, que todavía me ponen el nombre de él. Oye, en clase con el teacher Francisco. Entonces, este, que él hacía así con ustedes las actividades, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, por eso, pues, he eh, retomado lo que él hacía con ustedes, esperando, pues, que sí les funcione. Y lamento que por, la, por lo que les menciono, ¿verdad? Para no meternos en problemas, no me puedo meter en los breakout rooms. Pero si ustedes sienten que alguna dificultad o problema, pongan en el chat. Y yo me meto en el room, solo dejan de compartir o, o no lo tra en el momento que yo me meta en el room para ayudarles y ya luego pues yo me salgo. Pero sí, cuando tenga algún problemita o también por WhatsApp, porque cuando estoy dando la clase no veo el teléfono. Pero cuando estamos fuera de los breakups si yo oigo que suena el teléfono, yo puedo meterme a WhatsApp y ver si están teniendo algún problemita y ahí les puedo ayudar también para que pues puedan desarrollar los ejercicios. Y sería eso por ahora. Igual cualquier cosa que ustedes sientan que, que no les funcione, díganmelo. Y también si hay algo que quieran que yo haga, que ustedes sientan que les funciona mejor, también yo puedo eh, buscar ejercicios eh, para ayudar en ese sentido. Para eso son los one on one. Y ahora le toca a Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Si se puede quedar unos minutitos después de la clase, le agradeceré. Y este, a los demás, pues los veo mañana. Thank you for joining today's class and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Bye. You're welcome. Bendiciones a todos y a todas. Good night. Good see night. you tomorrow. Buenas noches. Buenas noches tomorrow. Okay. Hello. Hi, Juan. How are you today? I'm so tired. Tired? You have a yeah. heavy day at work. Yeah. And what do you do? Um, I work in the U.S. Navy base here in El Salvador at the oh. airport. The airport. Oh, that should be heavy. Um, not too much, but. 
I had Today to be there for two, yeah. I had to be there for twelve hours, saying seven a.m. to seven p.m. or seven p.m. to seven a.m. No, okay. So, and you work from Monday to Friday, or you work on weekends too? No, we I, we work on weekends. We have uh, rotativos. Ah, How do you so say rotativos? You you yeah, have like you can say rotative shifts, or we change the schedules from time to time. Yeah, we work um, five days in a row, and we rest four or five days. Oh, but that. That's nice. Too. So it's yeah. kind of tired, yeah, but then you good. have chance to to rest. Yeah, I'm being honest, yes. How long have you been working there? Um, eighteen months and a year and a half. A year and a half. Okay. Yeah. So you're basically you're new there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I'll tell me, how can I uh, help you or how can I improve my classes or what would you like for me to do? Any activity that you suggest or that you feel that it helps a lot for you? Um, being honest, everything is good. I have complaints. <laughs> I don't have nothing. Yeah, it's very nice. Your classes are nice. I can understand um almost everything um not just that i think everything is good i think if my uh, classmates say that they like i like because i have i can say that i have a level of english um um, yeah, you're higher than intermediate one. You're higher. Yeah. So I think I I should be in a advanced level, mm -hmm. but it's okay for me. It's not a problem because I can see all of them. They do an effort in, to try to understand everything. To try to to try to do uh, all of the activities that you have, that you uh, give us to develop. And uh, I think it's everything. It's very nice. So there are some things that uh, for me was so uh, difficult, I think, but I don't remember. It was the last week, I think because I studied English um, in 2017 and from that uh, year until 2020, I have never studied again, right? So I forgot some things about, uh, for example, um, grammar. That is the most difficult thing in English. But it is very good for me because I recap everything that I saw when I was standing. So, uh, and what about uh, your current workplace? Do you have chance to practice your English there? Uh, yeah, we use this language every day because um, as I told you, I work in the U.S. Navy. <laughs> All of them are gringos. <laughs> yeah. Most of them are really kind. Or not? Or what? Say again. Uh, most of the American people, well, I, I work with American people too, but they are um, customer for, I work for a uniform company and they are really kind. Some we are marvelous. Uh, 
they are kind. Yeah, they're very kind. Very nice, yeah. Um, oh, it's not very nice. Uh, always, if I have any doubt, I ask them and they help me, they help us. Yeah, they are very kind. Okay, so um, if there is a chance to practice with them, you could take advantage of that. Because, yeah, because hey, I know that your English is, is really good, it's more than intermediate one you should be in advanced level but um, maybe because that, that you stopped practicing you didn't practice for about four years right yeah for four years yes it, it is normal that you forgot some things and uh, yeah the good thing that you can do is to practice and try to write paragraph uh, using connectors or the fun boys did, did you yeah. study with us the fun boys the... No? yeah because i remember when i started work there um it was pretty difficult because i have never worked in a call center that it's supposedly um the first job that you have to have in order to look for another kind of job using the English. So it was very difficult when I started to take calls because we receive international calls for different uh, bases around the world. Um, it was very hard for me, believe me. <laughs> so you felt that that was frustrating for you? Yeah, kind of. Why is that the vocabulary was really difficult or you felt that your listening was not really good? Um, I think my listening, um, my listening and my speak. You're speaking. Yeah, yeah, but when I started work there, now I think, I, I feel that I, you have improved. I have more fluent. Yeah, I have improved a lot. Okay, now. so you're more fluent, yeah. and what about the listening? Have you improved yeah. your listening as well? Yeah, I have improved. I have improved. Um, and the thing is that they use a lot of um, how do you, I don't remember the names? Um, slangs. Is slangs? Yeah, slangs. Mm. Yeah, I remember. I was talking with some of them. And he used the slang. I don't know. It's a slang. It's but he told me, yeah, because you have to do things by the book. And I was like, uh, what is that? By the book, al pie yeah. de la letra. Uh huh. Uh -huh. What does mean? Yeah. And he told me. He explained me what the um, phrasal verbs or I don't know slang means. And I, oh, okay. Ah, okay. So that's a good idea. Uh, uh, maybe I can look for some um, words like that or phrases, and I'm going to start by implementing that from tomorrow on, I promise. Okay, thank you. Yeah, because <laughs> um, their work, Gringo's uh, work. Um, yes, and it is. It is. Uh -huh. the, the, these people um, Afro-American people too. Their thing is Afro-Americano. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, and they speak they very really hard fast. Point. Yes. And they use a lot of slangs. The thing is that they they don't articulate when they are speaking. Mm -hmm. they don't, <laughs> they, it's like different. they don't open the mouth. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> oh my God. Right. Yes, I totally understand you. Yeah. Okay, so thank but you so much. Nice. Uh -huh. Yes, it's yeah, really it's nice good. because you you developed your listening more because you you do the effort to understand maybe yeah. maybe you're you're not going to understand a hundred percent of what they are yeah. saying, 
but you but I can, take some words and some words that they are the I made the words. idea on my mind yeah uh -huh. Uh -huh. You take the keywords and with those yeah. keywords, you can paraphrase and say, okay, from my understanding is that you want to do this and this and this. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, uh, that's the important thing that you try and you get the keywords because it is not our language, but we can, uh, we can do something with, with what we have, right? So that's the idea is to try not to get frustrated and quit. We're not quit. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to improve more and more. Okay, you will do yeah. it. You're doing um, you're doing something good for you and it is to practice. And uh, thank you so much for your time. And I'm going to look for those kind of words and I'm going to start implementing them tomorrow and hoping to help you and help others in the class. Thank you, teacher. I appreciate a lot. Thank you for your time, Juan. I'm going to leave you so you can rest. I hope you sleep well and see you tomorrow. I hope to <laughs> see you tomorrow. Have a good one. And you do the same. Bye. Bye.